Creating a new website for your business is exciting. From the creativity of the design to the anticipation of the launch, what's not to love? The writing. It's the writing. Writing content for your website almost always sucks, and statistically, it's the number one thing that'll stall your site from actually launching in the first place. But it's not all bad news here because that job just got a whole lot easier, as in next to no work at all easy as in you can get your whole website written in a half hour easy. And it's actually kind of fun now. How is this possible? Well, you may have been hearing lately about a new free online AI tool called ChatGPT. It blew up practically overnight and for really good reason. It works way better than anyone expected it to. So um, Elon Musk actually put it best when he called it scary good. I've wanted to make a video like this for months, basically testing if you could really write your website using those free AI writing assistants. Um, I even got pretty far into planning one, but I ended up scrapping it at the time because it just felt really gimmicky and the tests that I tried were pretty terrible and not ready to share with you yet. Well, the game has changed with this one. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how easy and effective ChatGPT can be and how to use it to get your whole website written today. Not only is it gonna help you produce well-written website copy, but it can actually create the kind of benefit-driven messaging for you that'll help sell your products or services if you use it the right way. Now I do need to say that this is still in beta as of when I'm recording this, meaning they're still working out some of the kinks. And this definitely isn't a magic bullet. You may need to use a bit of trial and error in your requests to get what you need, um, as you'll probably see as we go through this. Now, I'm not gonna edit this video to make it look any easier or any harder than it actually is to use it. You're gonna get a completely authentic front row seat to the process the good, the bad, and the ugly, so that you can decide for yourself if it's something that you want to try out. So let's get started with the first test, writing the hero section for your homepage. Now, I've seen other videos try to write whole web pages at once, basically just saying, write a homepage for a plumbing company in Dallas. The problem with that approach though, is that AI doesn't really know the optimal start to finish page flow that's gonna help maximize conversion. So in my testing, it works way better to first know what sections you want on your pages and then make those requests on a section by section basis. Okay, so here we are on the ChatGPT website. Um, you're gonna need to create an account for it, but it's easy and again, it's 100% free to use, at least right now um, it is. I definitely think this is probably gonna have some kind of a pro level feature later on, but for now it's free. And the reason it's got chat in its name is because you can literally just chat with it. So all you need to do is go down here and just type in exactly what you're looking for as if you were texting with a real human copywriter. So um, what we're gonna start with here, I think, is just a hero section, which is uh, the, the top section of any modern website. And we just need a headline and a subheadline for that. Let's do this for um, a whale watching excursion company in Puerto Vallarta for our test here. So I would just type in something like, write a results focused, write a results focused headline for the homepage of a whale watching excursion business in Puerto Vallarta. And then just click this button right here and it's gonna go to work. Um, so let's see what it comes back with. Okay. so. Pretty good, experience the thrill of watching majestic whales up close on our expert-led excursions in Puerto Vallarta. I actually think that's pretty good and it's better than what most people would probably come up with on their own. You know, most people would probably just write something like, you know, whale watching tours in Puerto Vallarta, you know, this means a little bit more because it's got that result attached. But you don't have to take exactly what they give you. What, let's say um, the tone was wrong. What you can say now is something like, you know, rewrite in a friendly, playful tone, or you could type in, for more professional tone, you know, whatever kind of adjective you wanna go with. So what is it coming back here? It says, uh, come join us for a splash and good time on our whale watching excursions in Puerto Vallarta. So, you know, your mileage may vary. You may like that, you may not, but the point is you can kind of go back and ask it to do things a different way, which I think is super helpful. And it's really what makes this better than other AI tools I've ever used. So let's say we wanted to use this, so you would just kind of write it down in a Word doc somewhere, but then now we want the subheadline. So we would write something like, you know, write a subheadline that includes, 
this specific thing. Like maybe you have something specific that you want to include. And here would be, you know, we can do custom charters or um, you can be part of a group tour. So let's see what kind of subheadline they come back with. Oh, and it's what I should say here is they remember what this is for. It's not like you have to re-explain each time that this is for a whale watching tour. Like it's a conversation and they remember what was said before. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, we have book a private charter or join a group tour to see whales up close and personal. I think it's pretty good. And you definitely wanna do a quick pass just to make sure nothing's inaccurate here or to make sure um, that it's, it, it's in your voice. Okay, so now let's put this to work on a more text heavy section. Let's say you wanna have a section um, that talks about the problem that you solve and how you solve it, which is just a great section to have on any website. So there's actually a proven copywriting formula that marketers and copywriters have been using for decades, and it's called the PAS, or Problem Agitate Solution Copywriting Framework. So the idea being you lay out the problem your customer's likely experiencing, then you agitate it to really paint a clear picture of what the pain point looks like, you know, with examples, and then you lay out your solution. And maybe you already know the problem that you solve and a few examples of how that problem looks and how you solve it. But just to show you what this can really do, let's see uh, what they can come up with on all on their own. Because maybe you're thinking, well, we're a whale watching tour. Like, what problem do we solve? So I'm actually just gonna type right in here you know, use the problem agitate solution framework to write a few paragraphs showing the main problems we solve. So um, I'm being really specific here and that's the point. You know, you wanna really tell them what you're looking for um, so they come back with something good. That's how this tends to work best. So let's see what they got for us here. Okay, so we have, are you tired of being stuck on land watching whales from afar through binoculars? Um, do you want to get up and close and personal with these majestic creatures, but don't know where to start? Look no further because our whale watching excursions are here to solve all your problems. So here's the thing. Maybe that lands with you and maybe it's like, oh, that is the problem we solve. Maybe it's not though, right? Maybe the real problem is that, you know, people come to Puerto Vallarta and they tend to just go to the beach, but th we have something that's more unique than that. So let's just say here, I'm going to say, um, you know, rewrite this section with the problem that most vacations in uh, PV are just going to the beach, but this is a more unique experience. I'm just going to correct that in case it matters. Probably doesn't. Um, all right, cool. Let's see what happens next. Okay, so are you looking for a vacation experience in PV that goes beyond just lounging on the beach? See, they've taken what I've what I've given them there. Want to add some excitement and adventure to your trip? Our whale watching excursions are the perfect solution. Then we have um, kind of the agitate part where, you know, people tend to stick to the traditional stuff, but with us, you get to see a side of the city that few get to experience. So I think this is written extremely well. Now, again, you may want to go through and kind of make little tweaks here and there, and you're free to do so. You can even write, you know, write in that more playful tone if you wanted to do that. But I wanna show you our next thing here, which is um, let's have it write a nice benefits and feature section. So you always wanna let people know um, on your website what you include in your offer to help you stand out against your competition. But the thing is, most business owners confuse benefits and features. So using ChatGPT here is a great tool to help you not only brainstorm the features that you can include for your business, but it can help you find the hidden benefit behind each of those features too. So um, since benefits sell better than standard features do, I like to use the formula of a benefit-driven headline followed by a short description of the feature that makes the benefit possible. So maybe you already have a good handle on the features that you include with your offer, in which case you might just type those in and then ask for it to come up with a benefit for each of them but maybe you need some help coming up with the whole thing. So in that case, we would just brainstorm a bit um, by typing in something like, write 10 benefit feature combos, write each with a one to three word benefit driven title, followed by a one sentence description of the feature behind the benefit. I'm getting super specific here, um, but feel free to use this. This is a great way to come up with this, um, this section. So let's see. Um, what they come back to us with here. 
Okay, so it came back with 10. Now, I would say these aren't all great, but a few of them I think really are. So I think Up Close Encounters is great. So that's the title, that's the benefit. You get up close and personal, right? Get closer with the whales than ever before with our custom charter options. Um, you know, maybe tailored tours is a good one. Um, scenic views, family friendly, adrenaline pumping. That's a great one. Get an adrenaline rush as you come face to face with these majestic whales. Um, lifelong memories. So it's basically like I asked for more than I needed on purpose so that I can whittle them down. And you know, some will be better than others. And you can go back and say, hey, actually um, we do, like we provide lunch or we provide beverages or something like that, like add that in there too and just type that in and it'll come back with that. Okay, so now what about SEO, right? How can we add in certain keyword phrases that we might wanna target? So um, I highly recommend using an SEO tool like SEMrush that can not only come up with those possible keyword phrases for you, um, but they can also show you the numbers in terms of how many searches each gets per month and how competitive each of them are. So I really encourage you to start there, then bring in your top keyword phrase, but let's just say that you wanted to use ChatGPT to help you find those phrases um, right in here. So I would just type in, you know, what are 10 relevant keyword phrases I could use on this page for SEO? Let's just see what it comes back with now. Okay, so you've got whale watching excursions, Puerto Vallarta whale watching, whale watching tours. Then, you know, you'd pick the one you wanna go with or a couple you wanna go with and then just ask it to insert the phrase a few times, but to make it read natural. So let's just see, like, I've never gone this far with it, but let's just see what that would look like. So um, let's just say we wanna use Puerto Vallarta whale watching, number two. So um, um, use Puerto Vallarta whale watching keyword phrase in the problem solution section from before. Let's just see what it, what it does here. Okay, so it's writing the same thing, it looks like. Um, and okay, so we've got our Puerto Vallarta whale watching excursions are the perfect solution. So it did it, it remembered what it did before and then it added that phrase in, um, which I think is great. I think this is a really slick tool to use. And you'll probably wanna do some light rewriting possibly, but the really big thing that this tool can't do for you is show you the type of content that you should be putting on your website. So this definitely, as you can see, works best if you tell it specifically what type of content to create. So to help you solve that problem, I wanna invite you to my free on-demand masterclass where I'm gonna show you the exact types of content that you need on your website to turn it into that automated client generating machine. Then you'll just use my proven content suggestions as prompts inside of ChatGPT for really bulletproof copy that's 100% optimized for conversions. So click right here and I'll save your seat. And then you can get all the little things that I recommend you do that you can use right with ChatGPT to help you go even further. Click here and I'll see you there.